I was officially signed the game. At that time, man, you know, I did double XL, did the source, you know what I'm saying? We went on world tours, you know, everything. You know, I felt like the whole layout and the whole setup was like perfect. That that was the first person who gave me my opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, at that particular time, everybody's, you know, well known for the for the major beef that him and 50 Cent had. And, you know, at that particular time, and anybody who was under game, we kind of fell into that run. You know what I mean? We wasn't able to really you know, have our opportunity and moment. And that, that was okay because during that time, like I said, I was able to study, you know, listen and, you know, help me create a, a musical ear and, and really get an understanding of kind of how this, you know, industry is played. And, um, you know, the biggest thing is, man, you know, he also helped me, you know, understand how to create and put together great sounds and great bodies of music. It was, it was, it was definitely a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you know, I was able to meet, you know, a lot of different producers. I was able to really study and, understand some of his successes also as well as his mistakes and kind of put them into my own you know i had the opportunity to meet the j rocks and the kendricks of life and really got a chance to see how they work ethic and musical space was uh presented as well so for me you know i was a little bit younger at that time and like i said it, it, you know i definitely was prepared for everything that was moving but i want to say i didn't i didn't think that me being signed to him that somebody else would have the say over my my situation you know what i'm saying and and and, and again like i said with all right, the feuding right. all the feuding and situation that was going on but between him and 50 it eventually just came out you know it was basically a contractual dispute you know what i'm saying he was signed to 50 and g unit and whatever that was in that contractual obligation he had to honor so so all his artists and situations like that that he ended up signing under that umbrella of Black Wall Street at the time, we just couldn't come to the fruition because he still had to fulfill his obligation with the parent company, which was G Unit at the time. You know, it made me realize that this business is also more than just us being creatives and making music. You know what I'm saying? There's still a business side to it. And, you know, for me, it really threw me for a loop because at that particular time, Game was probably the biggest artist out besides 50 Cent. All right, you know right. what I'm saying? And I used to see him, you know, frustrated a lot. And I'm like, bro, how are you, how are you angry right now? You know what I'm saying? We, you know, you in this big mansion, you got the Bentley, you got the biggest name out, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're torn, you're making money, your, your family seems like they're happy. I didn't really understand. I just feel that, that that beef in that situation definitely affected the label that he built and the artists that he wanted to potentially put out. When you're in a situation and somebody's kind of holding you up from not releasing the type of music and energy you want to, that causes a problem. You know what I'm saying? You know, when 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 a person maybe wants to change the sound and, and, and change the type of energy that you want to drop towards people, that starts to become a problem. And I start realizing that, you know, he, he was just in a contractual obligation, you know what I'm saying, that really probably wasn't beneficial to his overall liking and sometimes you know us as artists get put in these situations to where you know we we, we got to accept certain types of things to kind of get to that next step step in in this profession or in life you know what i'm saying but yeah. um but like i said at that at that particular time you know he definitely gave me um a platform and gave me the opportunity you know what i'm saying to to do a lot of things it was just for me so much was really 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 going on man that it was just taken away from my overall game plan and, 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 and vision. You know, I, I don't think that people understand, like, you know, you know, you know, people get opportunities all the time, but you got to make sure that this opportunity is beneficial for you and what you looking to do. Because I see artists get locked in situations all the time. They'd be like, yeah, well, I signed with so-and-so and their career didn't go nowhere. They didn't get the feature that they needed. They didn't get the appearance. They didn't get them to push the button to market and promote. So, like I said, man, you know, for me, being signed to game definitely put me on my business dean and makes me look at this industry a little bit different. And it makes me think twice before putting myself back in that situation again, moving forward. So if, you know, a situation does come from another major or come from Rose or, you know, some other some other things that are on the table, most definitely I'm going to take my time and make sure that, you um, one, we're on the same page musically and professionally, you know what I'm saying? And that the things that I need and want, you know what I mean, are obligated in that contractual agreement, you know what I mean? So there's no hic hiccups or I go through what game went through with 50. And like I said, it, it did take a lot of time away from me, 
But I think um, me studying and me really locking into what was really going on is really going to help me on this next phase of journey that, that, that I'm on.